Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the first look at Bart Allen. They just released a new poster, also they revealed the title of the finale, and they also revealed that it's a two-part episode, and we've got also some photos to break down as well, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, we have the first look at Bart Allen, that is the first thing we're going to be going over. And so the CW just yesterday, they released this first look poster. They always do this when there is a new suit recently. They did one for Asley Test Phase, Guardian on Supergirl, and now finally we get one for Bart Allen. So we kind of knew this was coming because whenever there is set photos, there is always a promotional photo that follows. And this time they didn't wait that long to actually release it. And here it is, and I think this is awesome, and it looks ripped straight from a comic book. I mean, it is literally a comic book panel that they've just interpreted into live action. And some people have been saying this is like shaky Photoshop work, like they didn't think it was the best. And I agree, like it's not the best poster that they've ever put out, but it's awesome. Like, you get to see his suit properly and him in action which I think is great, and I love that they've paid this kind of homage to this one iconic panel in the comics of Bart Allen. And I have to say, his suit looks awesome, and I mean, I want to use this in my thumbnail because it looks so cool. And so, if that's saying anything, like, I'm really, really excited and very happy with this. I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, so this is our first look at Jordan Fisher as Bart Allen. Obviously, this is quite a playful poster. And he is smiling, he has obviously the full comic book shebang, and he's running through the city. I mean, it was all very, very flash, and it's very comic booky. And lightning is like coursing all around him. And one thing you have to know is his lightning here is white. So, what happens if his lightning in the show is white? What does that mean? Does he have a link to Godspeed or something? Because Godspeed has white lightning. Well, we don't know that, and. I mean, it is all up for interpretation, however, you can see that surrounding the whiteness, there is a little bit of, like, golden orange. So, I don't really know if it's white, or if it's actually orange, or if you look up a little bit by his top glove, the lightning is kind of bluish. So, I don't know if that's just, like, a matter of the Photoshop mixing up some of the colours. And we'll have to wait and see, I think, until, you know, we see him in action properly to tell what colour lightning he has. But again, his suit is awesome, you can see it pretty much is like the comic book costume. You got a bit of added texture in the middle, in the big red lightning bolt he has, and I feel like this is more along the lines of what you do get with comic book adaptations from the comics. They basically take the schemes that the comics come up with, but they add more dimension and they add more texture. And if you zoom into this image, you can see that there is a lot more texture to the suit and it's a little bit more like silvery rather than just white because silver kind of works better when you're on camera than just something that's pure white so that is why the texture is a little bit shiny you can see with some of the shadows it kind of blends in with some of the whiteness of the suit and I think the color scheme is really good you got the yellow of the goggles matching the yellow slash golden in color that you see at the edge of the lightning bolt which kind of protrudes out to a belt as well and also on his boots it's kind of like sneakery kind of boots like they look pretty comfortable and you can see the golden bits at the top of it and so I mean it's just like comfortable and it looks pretty cool it fits the color scheme and just overall I think this is a great suit and yeah it's not like the best poster they've ever released but it's pretty damn good Okay, so let's go on to talk about the next thing. So The Flash's 150th episode and the season 7 finale will be a two-part episode. And the episodes are titled Heart of the Matter and Heart of the Matter Part 2. So this is pretty much the same scheme that they've gone for at the end of this part of the graphic novel. Because, you know, Family Matters Part 2, we're going to be talking about some of the photos, is happening this week. So Tuesday, this is going to be the kind of mid-season finale for The Flash because they're ending off the Speed Force Nora storyline and the Forces, and they're going to be moving on to this Godspeed slash future Flash family kind of storyline that they're setting up. And so yes, the 150th episode, which is obviously a very important episode, 
and the season 7 finale are going to be a two-parter titled Heart of the Matter. Heart probably refers to August Heart, that would kind of make sense because we know Godspeed is going to be the main villain of the season, well the villain of the back half of the season, and so we kind of know that this is definitely what it's referring to. Also Heart of the Matter could refer to the family's heart, you know, that being Barry, Iris, Nora, Bart, you know, because this is all like a big place for them and like it's a big moment, they're meeting their two kids. So could this have something to do with their hearts? I guess that is definitely possible. Also remember in this episode, Jay Garrick is showing up, so it is like a whole big Flash family team up episode. So you got that to look forward to. And now we've got the official title and we know it's a two part episode, we know the 150th episode isn't going to be like a kind of special episode like Arrows where it was like separate from the main story. But I think this is even better that it is like a two parter and it leads into the finale and it's not kind of disruptive and it's not different. But you have something special in that episode even though it's continuing the storyline because you get the return of these three huge characters. That be Nora and Jay are actually coming back and not returning, but a new character, Bart Allen is showing up and obviously we're all super excited about that. This poster, all the set photos, it's a lot to take in and it's a lot to get excited about and you know, they've made the change with Bart being their kid rather than grandkid like he is in the comics. So you have that to look forward to, like what's going to be happening with that side of things. So there is so much going on. So along with the poster, Jordan Fisher, who is very active on social media, he was given the go ahead to post a photo of him inside the actual suit. And you can see this photo right here that he releases a selfie in a mirror. And this I think people were really happy about because you know I said some people were complaining about the Photoshop. And this is really cool because you get to see his suit up close and in good quality. I mean, you know, he's pretty close. He's not far away, so it's not like you're zooming in, but he's literally right there taking the photo so you can properly see the suit in action. And it's definitely a lot more silvery than white. Like the whole texture is along the side of the suit is silver rather than white, like it was shown kind of in the poster. Like I said, that is obviously due to the light hitting it and where the shadows are. And I guess silver just gives that effect off. And so this just gives us a really good look at the suit and it is awesome and I mean I keep on just repeating myself that I really love this and I can't wait to see Bart actually on screen. But please be sure to let me know in the comments down below how excited are you to see Bart Allen finally. Okay we got a couple of final topics to go over before we end this video. So first things first. The CW has been making a few new Twitter accounts, one is CW underscore painkiller and one is at the CW Naomi. So for those of you who saw those rumors going around, basically this is what the CW does. They always create like accounts early on, even if the shows haven't been picked up for like a full season. They do it as a precaution, I believe they did it to one of the spin-offs that got cancelled. That wasn't Arrowverse related, I just remember that but I forgot the name of the show. And they always prepare these accounts, but that doesn't mean that they've officially been picked up for like a whole series run, like one whole season. So as of right now, we don't know if Painkiller and Naomi are going to be going past the pilot. Obviously, Naomi's currently filming their pilot, and I'm super excited for Naomi especially. But I thought I would just kind of address that quickly in the video. And now let's move on to the next thing. So they've just released some new photos for this week's episode, the mid-season kind of finale, even though we're not going to have a break. And so what's going to be happening is this is part two of the storyline they started last episode titled Family Matters. So they just released like a bunch of photos. Most of them are from the same scene or like in the same room in the speed lab. A plan to try and stop Speed Force Nora from killing the forces. Because even though at the end of last episode, and as you see in the trailer, Team Flash is lying dead on the ground, that part of Team Flash is Iris and the two new forces. It's pretty obvious that they're going to be alive, and like I did my video on the other day, if you want to go check it out, I'm going to leave it in the top right corner of the screen. 
Barry is pretty much invincible whilst they've set up the logic that they set up a couple of episodes ago where they revived Alexa. So Iris is going to be resurrected and Bashir and Alexa are also going to be resurrected. So it seems like that's going to happen pretty early on in the episode after Speed Force Nora zooms away with the Steel Force. And then we're going to go onto these photos which you can see right here and they're trying to figure out how to stop Speed Force Nora. I'm presuming all these equations and again you can flip it around and you can see what they're actually you writing I can't really tell and I haven't had time to flip it around however there is mention of like electrical things and you know basically ways that they can try and stop Speed Force Nora and for her to not kill them obviously that is like the big goal but also for her to just be like the normal Speed Force because Barry needs his powers and it's not going to be very good if he has to create another artificial Speed Force if they have to stop the Speed Force permanently that's a bit dark but you know that is a possibility however yeah so that is kind of what's going on in this and she is going to be in her final episode this season we know that michelle harrison who plays nora is going to be showing up again later in the season but she's going to be playing joan that being jay garrick's wife so you know a completely different character just with the same looks Okay, so inside the speed lab, we get a photo of Barry in his flash suit. He looks awesome, and he's probably looking at Cisco and Chester, as you can see in the next photo, because he cuts out to a wider photo. And you can see the board, like, properly that they've been working on, and they have some sort of conversation. Also, Barry has something on his wrist, which I presume is something to do with what their plan is in this episode to try and stop Speed Force Nora. Then we get like a new photo which is just cutting in and you know it's cool to see them all working together. We don't know how long Cisco is supposed to leave in a couple of episodes time. We're going to make a video on that sometime in the next few days so be on the lookout for that. And so the final photo is just a close up of Cisco and he is standing in front of this and you can read that it said circular orbits that being on the board of course. And so is this like a plan that they have? Maybe Barry's going to go around Nora loads of times and will that be able to stop her? I'm not sure, but that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from it saying circular orbits because I mean, you know what an orbit is, you know, going around the planet round and round again. So same thing, like Barry could possibly run circles like orbits around Speed Force Nora maybe to stop her. I don't know, that's just me theorizing about what's seen on the screen. However, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click here if you want to watch my latest video. Also, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps get the video out there. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.